Tina says, would you do a video on the people in Matthew 7 that prophesied in his name and cast out demons in his name and did mighty works in his name? I have Christians telling me that the, quote, workers of lawlessness, unquote, are actually people that believe their works would save them. They have twisted worker of lawlessness to mean, quote, tries to keep the law, unquote. And I don't know how to respond to it. It's so crazy. It's clearly believers who didn't keep the law, but I don't know how to explain that to Christian friends. Excellent question, Tina. I'm glad to help you out with this. Any Christian that believes that has made a fatal mistake, and they have missed it on four different points. Number one, it's inconsistent with everything else that Jesus taught. Mark chapter 10, Matthew chapter 19, Luke chapter 10, Luke chapter 18. Time and time again, people approach Jesus and ask that great question. Jesus, how can we get saved? How can we inherit eternal life? What did he say? Don't do anything that God commands you to do because that's not going to get you eternal life. No. He said, obey the commandments. That's how you get eternal life. Sorry, lawless Paulians. He did not preach the Paulian gospel. And here's the truth. These so-called Christians project their lawless Paulian gospel on to Matthew 7, verses 21 to 23. Number two, it's not consistent with Christian charismatic doctrine or practice. It's clear in Matthew 7, verses 21 to 23 that Jesus is talking about charismatics. These are people who cast out devils, prophesy, and do many mighty works. They operate in the gifts of the Spirit. Jesus said many of them, not few, but many of them will be rejected. I speak from experience. I've got over two decades experience in charismatic circles. I'm a first-hand witness. I know a lot of people who cast out devils, who heal the sick, who prophesy, who do many mighty works in his name. And all of them, A-L-L, all of them say that it's Jesus working through them. It's not their works, it's his works. Which leads me to point three. It is very clear in Matthew 7, 21 to 23, that these people say it's in his name that they operate by these gifts. In his name means by his authority and by his power, not their own works. It's his works. The people in that passage clearly does not attribute those things to themselves, but to him. Number four, Jesus made it super clear the reason why he rejected them. He said they are workers of lawlessness. They are workers of iniquity. In the Greek, it's anomian, which literally means they live like there is no Torah to go by. They live lawless. Jesus' teaching is consistent throughout the Gospels. You live lawless, you will be rejected.